Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today I am going to make a photo on a sublimation photo on a wood block that I bought from the Dollar Tree. So um, to get started, I uploaded the image I want to use and um, I measured the, the wood block. So and I made the measurements a little bit bigger um, on on I'm going to say canvas on um, Cricut Design Space because um, I wanted to cover the whole wood block and not have like um, in, like any wood showing on the um, outside of the picture. So anyway, next we are going to do is click Make It, and I'm going to send it to the sublimation printer which is my Epson. I'm going to turn the bleed off and let it catch up. Okay, and switch it to Epson. I don't know, for some reason, um, Cricut Design Space has been running slowly. Okay, so before I hit print and sometimes if you'll see the photo it does that so I just X out and I redo it and then it comes up normal I don't know why it does that so let's go back and click on Epson and then before I hit print I'm going to show you um, something that I do to the printer um, just to make sure that it's at its best quality and the uh, photo turns out you know the best it can so let me go ahead and show you how I do that so the first thing I did is on the bottom left corner of your computer, I typed in printer, and this pops up all the printers. Then I click on Epson, and I'm going to click Manage. And then from there, I'm going to click on Printing Preferences. Okay, so now that we're in Printing Preferences, um, the paper type usually says um, plain paper. I put mine on premium presentation paper mat. The quality I put on high, and then you'll select OK. Then we are click on more options. Okay, so from more options, we'll select custom, and then we click on advanced. Then we'll select color controls. The color mode is Adobe RGB. Gamma should be 2.2. And then I change my adjustment method to color circle. And I like to adjust all of my um, brightness, contrast, saturation, and density to 10. But everyone's different, so you just have to play around with that. Then I'll click OK. So now we're ready to send it to the printer. Um, and actually what we need to do first, I apologize, is we need to make sure that this is a mirror image. So we're gonna mirror the image and then hit done. So double check, yes, mirrors on, then select printer. And remember it does it sometimes for the first time, hit cancel. Then select to printer again. Make sure, yep, mirror still on. Bleed is off. And then we'll switch it to the Epson. And oh, I keep passing it. Okay, then I'm going to hit print. But before I do that, um, I put the paper in the printer and I put the white side facing up. And then um, we'll go ahead and hit Okay, so I have it printed out and I'm going to put it on the wood and I have it that is bigger so I can go ahead and wrap it around. So let me just kind of get a nice see. Okay, so we're going to do it on this side. Okay. And the reason I made it bigger is because I want um, the whole wood to have um, a photo on it. I don't want any blank parts. Okay, so now we are going to get the tape. Um, okay. 
and you're going to want to tape it firmly. I am using heat resistant tape, but I don't plan on taping or doing this side. I just guess just in case. Okay, I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, so now it's wrapped. Then we are going to take Teflon and I have to grab one more thing I forgot to grab. We are going to put all of this on a pad. <laughs> okay, so very important. Okay, so I'm going to use the Cricut Press at 360 because that's the highest that this one goes. And I'm going to um, put firm pressure on it for like three to four minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Okay, so I ended up doing uh, five minutes just to be safe. And we're going to go ahead and open it. And yeah, are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, that looks really, really nice. I am going to go ahead and spray it with Mod Podge Gloss, and then um, we will be back. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know below what you think of the sublimation on the wood. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.